back now, 742, with a remarkable claim from a woman who is about to publish her life story. She says that she spent a good part of her early childhood abandoned in a jungle with only monkeys as her family. Now, before you jump to conclusions, here's NBC's Michelle Kaczynski. Instantly evident in Marina Chapman is her love for animals, for living. A lot. But there is far more. I did that. I learned from them. In her new book, Marina makes a bold claim that Capuchin monkeys like these helped keep her alive. For possibly five years, from the age of four, kidnapped and left alone, she says, in the Colombian jungle. And they became a family. Marina says she survived on their discarded fruit and nuts. But years passed, living as they did, eventually forgetting her parents, her own name, even climbing high in the trees, which today, in her mid-60s, she can do. Wow. Ah, it's it up. Marina says she encountered hunters who sold her into domestic slavery, that she ran away to life as a thieving street kid. And ultimately, the kindness of a local mother led to a loving adoptive family as a teenager. How can you be sure that these things really happened to you and they're not the imagination of a child? It's not imagination. I know. I know what I know. I'm very sure. You become resilient. Mm. You... Survive. All written down over years by Marina's family of her own. She met her husband at church in the UK where she traveled with the family she worked for. They have two daughters who say they convinced her her story had to be shared. And when you were hearing her story, did you just say, what? It wasn't unbelievable to you? It like makes crazy. sense. When you, it made sense. Yeah. <laughs> when you're raised with her, you just, you it's just normal. Used to it. What stops you from thinking at some point... Maybe my mom's been through some stuff. Maybe she's a little off balance in some ways, and maybe she made up a, a lot of this. Oh, we did think about using that lie te- detector. Yeah, the polygraph. You thought she's, about it. We did think about it. So determined, they say, were they to verify it, they went to Colombia, tracked down locations, people that they say corroborated her story outside the jungle. Uh, Mum seems more excited about finding her monkey family, though. She's yeah. heard recently that monkeys live can live for up to 55 years, oh and my she's God, recently gone... <gasps> They might be alive, I might find the ones. That part of Marina's life can't be proven so far by authorities or records. But animal experts... I could see them tolerating her. She followed them around. And a psychologist who specializes in feral children say while some details seem a stretch... There's no evidence that she's lying. What happens, of course, over time is the more you tell the story, some aspects of it get sharper, some get forgotten. Twice in recent years, the children were found in the wild, believed to have been protected by monkeys. Marina's family embraces her at times wild behaviors. No, she's just not a lady. No, she's not a lady. Every morning she'll wake up and she's like, I've got a house, I've got feet. I've got, you know, the simple things. <laughs> Ultimately, our entire skeptical team couldn't help but have a hard time disbelieving fully what should be an unbelievable story. For today, Michelle Kaczynski, NBC News, Bradford, England. Who wants know, to go of, first? I kind of believe it. I mean, you know, I know she was a child when she says she lived. So the question is, is that sort of repressed memories or, or something? Or, or enhanced, in, enhanced memories. memories, imagination, as Michelle asked the question. I think it's but the possible. fact that she can climb that tree at 60, I mean... <laughs> yeah, that that's was a good one. I had to say that had me And leading. the family in Colombia corroborated some <laughs> yeah. of the stories. On the surface, before you know any of the details, it sounds ridiculous. It does right. sound ridiculous. But the more you hear about her wanting to find the monkey family... I don't know. We're cynics in this business. I believe it. But it would be nice to be surprised to find yeah. stories that are yeah. true. You're going anyway. with it? I'm going with it. All right. Coming 